already is fine. In today's video, we will be discussing about uh, two types of parsing. So first parsing that I'm discussing is top down parsing. Now from the word top down, it means that you will be parsing from top to bottom. So it means this is uh, the in entire part. So top means your start symbol. Start symbol, any start symbol starts the string. And bottom is your entirely input symbol. So your top would act as a root. You have already de designed a derivation tree. I will put the link of that particular video in the description box. And your bottom is actually your input symbols. These are your input strings. They form the input strings and they act as leaves also, right? So top down parsing is a parsing from top to bottom or top down parsing. It is also equivalent to leftmost derivation. I have already described this thing that whenever you are deriving the string, you always use leftmost derivation. There you can easily find the rules which are equivalent. Like I'll be taking an example of top down parsing the best example i can quote is that i have a string which is small c capital b and small d this is one thing and uh, we are b is also another non terminal so capital s and capital b are non terminals b is saying ab slash a now we want to derive a string We want to derive a string and deriving a string, let's say that W that we want to derive is CAD. So this is what we want to derive. So how will you derive? So top down parsing always uh, we will be preferring a string that starts from start symbol, which is acting as a root node. Obviously, you have to start from start symbol and your small c is one part. Uh, capital B uh, and small d. Obviously, we have to derive C A D. We have already got small c and small d and B has two rules. Either it has A B or it has A. So, uh, we have to pick one of them. So, we basically will pick small a. So, we will get C A D. So, eventually, your input string that you are deriving is CAD and you start from top and uh, this actually your string is uh, your input string is the bottom part. So C is a leaf. There is no uh, no child of this. A is having is also a leaf and D is also a leaf. So we are basically parsing from top to bottom. So this is top down parsing and the best example you can quote is leftmost derivation. Now we discuss the next concept. The next concept is bottom up parsing. Guys, uh, bottom up parsing is that uh, you have to pass from leaf to root. So your leaf would be your input symbol and your root would be your start symbol. You see, the best example that you can quote for bottom-up parsing is you can take rightmost derivation. So this is also one example that you can take. Now, uh, in, in your basically uh, bottom-up parsing is that you have to begin from leaves to top. So begin from leaves means you have to begin from leaves means your input strings to top and top is actually your start symbol so this is uh, what your uh, your bottom up parsing is all about now uh, how does it work out the best example we have for bottom up parsing is guys is very very 
सिंपल इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट आई एम टेलिंग यू टॉप डाउन पार्सिंग एंड बॉटम अप पार्सिंग इफ एनी क्वेश्चन कम्स यू प्रेफर टॉप डाउन पार्सिंग बिकॉज देयर यू कैन डिराइव द स्ट्रिंग फास्टर वी हैव गॉट एस इज गिविंग अस ए स्मॉल ए कैपिटल ए कैपिटल बी स्मॉल ई ए इज जनरेटिंग स्मॉल बी एज वेल एज इट इज जनरेटिंग ए कैपिटल स्मॉल बी एंड स्मॉल सी एंड बी इज जनरेटिंग स्मॉल डी एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड अ स्ट्रिंग और जनरेट अ स्ट्रिंग दैट इज ए डबल बी सी डी ई सो गाइज हाउ डज इट वर्क आउट you know uh, whenever we are going to perform any kind of uh, any kind of rightmost derivation we have to do rightmost derivation in this uh, the important point i have told you that when we are doing parsing from bottom up parsing or we are doing it means we are doing rightmost derivation now in this uh, particular scenario what we are having is that we have a start symbol which is a a b e now we all know that the string that we are deriving is a small uh, small e so if i am doing rightmost derivation it means i have to pick the rightmost rightmost non terminal which is this part i'll be picking this part now this will generate something so i have two options i have only one option actually for b that is d and that's what our demand is your uh, string would become like a a d e now there are two options for this a either you can put b if i put b over here i will have string a small b small d small e which is which i don't want so clearly there is one most uh, non terminal that we are having is a and a has two values which is small b as well as a b c so we'll prefer a b c right and uh, obviously we are having d e so there is only one non terminal that we have to put which is uh, small a and small a can give us two answers but we want this answer we have already got a small b c d e we want only b so we are writing a b b c d e so we we pick this rule over here right so we basically pick the rightmost non terminals and if 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 i have to basically create this whole scenario so my scenario was created from uh, if i'm talking about bottom up parsing from this part from this particular part we were generating a from a we were generating uh, from this a we were generating abc and from this a we were generating abc and again from this b we were generating d so if if i have to basically uh, have to create a particular tree so i was uh, what what is the string that we were creating was a b b c d e that was the string that we were generating right now just pick uh, the last rule the last rule was this a was generating b so that was generating generated by this a or i take it uh, i take this example over here as well i'll try to solve it a b b c d e so this b was generated by a right uh, so this was actually generated by a now if i combine these two parts a a b uh, if i if i combine this part which is a b and c capital a small b and small c so if if you just see this particular part this is getting generated by a right similarly uh, your uh, your d was this d was actually generated by capital b so i am picking this a string and then i am picking this rule then i'm picking this rule then i'm picking this rule and eventually i will reach s so if if i see this particular scenario where i took b and b was generating d and if i combine a this a this b and this e i will generate this s so it means from bottom to top 
I have generated this scenario and this scenario was S is actually generating small a capital A. So capital A was getting generated. So then capital B and capital E. You're getting this particular point. So this is how uh, your uh, bottom up approach works. It is rightmost derivation and hence we got the answers accordingly. We, we found out one string and if I perform uh, from this A, B, B, C, D, E, the string and I wanted to derive this string and various rules are there. So from this part, from this part, we reached this, then this and then this. So it means we are working in a reverse of rightmost derivation that is actually your bottom up parcel. So guys, these are two examples regarding uh, top down parsing, uh, which is leftmost derivation. And to uh, basic, if I conclude this whole particular scenario, uh, the conclusion is your top down parsing and bottom up parsing first is top down parsing deals with leftmost derivation bottom up parsing deals with rightmost derivation and you can write it as a reverse rightmost derivation because your tree is actually generated from reverse of rightmost derivation and this is leftmost derivation and uh, obviously you go from uh, start to input and over here we go from input to start and start acts as a root for both of them so this is also a root so this i conclude this particular part top down parsing and bottom up parsing thank you if you have any doubt kindly uh, put it in comment section uh, i'll be happy to answer thank you